And as we always do on the queue on a Thursday afternoon, the Thursday afternoon chat. Today, it's with the lead singer of Big Daddy Weave, Mike Weaver. My chat today is with a, um, uh, well, let me just say the lead singer of Big Daddy Weave, Mr. Mike Weaver. Thank you, sir, for taking a moment. Man, I'm telling you, it's an all, it's always a good moment when I get to speak with VJR. Dude. You and I have done so many interviews. Last night, I was sitting in front of the laptop <laughs> about to prepare, like I always do the day before, and I'm like, I'm out of, I've hit, where can I go with Mike Weaver that I haven't gone before, you know? It's so true, you know, because there is... It's the same thing as last time, really. If you think about it, man, we're just, we're still doing this. And this is like coming up on the fall, dude. It'll be 15 years for Big Daddy Weave. That's wow. like, I can't believe we're still doing that in small, dude, you know? When I brought up we've done so many interviews, it's tough for me. I almost went to my Facebook and said, hey, everybody, questions for Mike Weaver, Big Daddy Weave? Fire away. I'll send you a t-shirt if I use your question. I thought, you know what? That's me being lazy. I'm going to sit here while my wife, wife is watching like Law & Order type shows and I'm sitting right next to her. Uh, listen to Big Daddy Weave songs trying to prepare for you. I just, I, I put my headband on and just went for it. <laughs> I loved it. I loved that it required a headband. Dude. I love that. I was sweating. Here we go. Envelope one. <clears throat> Pros and cons of sharing band life with you, a family member. Like you have a family member, your brother in a band. So what, what would be a pro and a con of that? Because it's not normal for every band. Man, the pro is, especially now, because he actually still lives in Navarre, Florida, and I moved to Nashville some years ago, so I get to see my brother every week, and we're kind of best friends anyway, you know? Yeah. Best friends like brothers are, you know? Because every now and again, you have this massive disagreement, you know? But then you get over it and you cry and you hug, and then you're it's all good again, you know? Yeah. And so but the pro is because he is my brother, you know, because I do love him and I'm we're, we love being together. There's, um, the con is, man, our bus, and I would just say this to everyone, but this is I'll throw my brother under the <laughs> aforementioned bus as well because of the fact that, like, dude, our bus is like a mobile, like, dude's locker room. You know what I mean? It is just like the stank factor <laughs> on our bus is, like, off the charts, man. And my brother is packed with vitamin F, you know what I mean? It's like, he has got, he is rich. He is a rich, rich source of vitamin F. Let's just say that. And it is, he is a creature. You know, he is. He really is. He may be the eighth wonder of the world if we really you know, look into it. Yeah. I don't even know if we can talk about that. I'm just being absolutely real. I'm not trying to be ugly about anything. And again, I was sitting on my couch with a headband, sweating over these questions, trying to come up with something new for you and I. The moment on stage as a lead vo uh, vocalist, these past, uh, past 15 where years where you wish you could have done a magic trick and made yourself disappear because of what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to pick one, dude. It's hard to pick one. Sometimes it's just being me, and you just say these random things, and you're just kind of like, I don't even, I don't even have a for instance, but it's like literally when you, when you say it, you just know, like that was just that was really dumb, dude. I cannot stand <laughs> when my material doesn't work and I can see instant <laughs> negative feedback. I hate it. <laughs> That's so true, man. You know, and I sort of wondered in your position, you know, like how it would work because I'm like, you really don't receive that feedback immediately. So I'm like, I guess you just have to get in this spot of being like, dude, I'm the most hilarious person in the entire world. <laughs> I you know hope I'm I mean? not wrong. Because I'm like, there are nights when it's just working and, you know, like multiple nights on tour, night after night, man, it's just hitting. And, you know, you tell that same joke to this, you know, the audience somewhere else in Timbuktu and all of a sudden, it's like nobody's laughing and I, I like want to convince them now look everybody like this is really funny this has worked for like the last week and a half you know what I mean it's yeah. like I promise you this is funny man yeah. you know so you're, you're gonna regret giving me the stink face at this moment you know what I mean it's like dude so I'm gonna repeat it one more time that's it man that's exactly it <laughs> envelope three for you Mike a song that hit the radio in the past year or so where you heard it kicked yourself for not writing it first what would that one be oh gosh man bless the lord <laughs> oh my soul oh, oh my but i didn't kick myself for very long dude i just started singing along you know yeah. what i mean because it was so right on i mean I've, I've been a matt redmond fan for years now but it's like when i heard that i was like oh my word you know yeah that is really good you know the other one that's coming along though for me man is that tomlin tune uh 
whom shall I fear, man? Yeah. I, I, just, I sense the Lord on that song so much, man. We were singing in our church on Sunday, on Easter Sunday, man, and it was just like, gosh, you know? I, I will say, just you and I both being around, you know, whether it's worship or it's just straight up Christian radio songs, there are certain songs where you, you think to yourself, and half of them seem to be Tomlin songs, but you, you think to yourself, <laughs> there's something on this song that is bigger than life. And it happened when you hear How Great Is Our God, Tomlin, and it happened again with Whom Shall I Fear, and it happened with 10,000 Reasons. I think Redeemed has part of it, one of yours. And mm. the, it's not every song, they're all good songs and great messages but some of them have this like uh i don't know like a steroid factor where there's something in it yeah man you know what it is it's the anointing of god dude yeah. it's, it's his it's his touch because there's lots of great songs that come out you know there are lots of very well crafted songs but i think when um you know it talks in scripture about the anointing of god breaking the yoke it breaks our efforts it breaks us trying to be something it breaks us trying to succeed it is be it's bigger than that man and that's exactly what you're connecting with man and i i thank god for that and that's that's what we're supposed to as believers walk in man you're relying on his presence the spirit of god the anointing of god these last two questions i have for you mike are uh, basically they're they're real quick 10 yes or no's i don't think i've done this with you yet we don't we don't need to explain these that's why it's going to go real quick i'll give you the first five and then i'll play and I'll, we'll do the last five okay <laughs> You got it. You got it. it. You can expound if you want to, but you don't have to. Okay. Number okay. one, have you ever cut a Big Daddy Weave show short because you were just plain tired or exhausted? No. Number two, have you ever been in a tanning bed? No. <laughs> my 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 uh, my color definitely evidences that, dude. I'm like I'm like Snow White, dude. Number three, have you ever used the fact that you're in a band to get something free or cheaper? <laughs> Yeah, yes. <laughs> okay. Number four, have you ever bought your own album in a music store and revealed to the cashier that that was your face on the cover? <laughs> no, but our, our drummer Jeff did, and it was so <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> we ragged him. We were like, we disowned him, dude, at that point. We were just like, no! Because all of you probably had the temptation, but he actually gave in to it going, that's us! <laughs> yeah. No, I never had the temptation. I was embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. I will. I have done this, like, before in Walmart, you know, and you go in and you find, like, a place or in a Christian bookstore, and you, like, find where it is, and I'll put it from on the CD rack where they can't see it to where they can see it, <laughs> you know? Uh, I'm, like, working for the label, you know? I'm putting it up, like, hey, you need to, you need to buy this, you know? That's great. But I've never told anybody about it. Golly, that so embarrassing to me. I wouldn't know what to do. I would like somehow cease to exist. I feel like from embarrassment or something. Right. Uh, halfway through the yes or no's, the ten yes or no's here. Have you ever cried during a chick flick? Oh man. Okay, not as much until I had kids, and now it's like every every <laughs> one, dude. I don't know if I'm going through like menopause or like what, dude. But it's like I just freaking cry all the time now, dude. Since I have kids, it's like man, they play butterfly kisses. I'm a wreck, dude. You know, it's like they play anything. I'm telling you, it's I am I am subject to every Mark Schultz song now, dude. I'm telling you, every all of that just gets me. You know, man. Number six on the list, Mike. Have you ever lip sync during a show? No, not. Not yet, man, but I'm, I'm telling you, the older I get, the more sense that makes, dude. <laughs> I'm like, well, shoot, why don't we just play it, you know? Because, you know, we have a few things from the record that kind of play in the background, like little keyboard parts and, like, little electric guitar things that, like, you can't physically do so you don't have enough people, you know? Yeah. And so it's, like, stuff we wanted, and I'm like, well, shoot, man, why don't we just put the acoustic guitar on there? Why don't we just put me on there? <laughs> you got to be careful because they might... It you know, you might be phasing yourself out. Like, we really don't need him out there. <laughs> That's true, man. Well, they've known that for years anyway. It's <laughs> right. only God's mercy. Do you file your own taxes or do you send them off? I send them off, man, because I, I'm so nervous about, like, getting in trouble or something, you know? It's yeah. like, gosh, you know, I want to make sure it is right. Have you ever written a song you wish you never wrote? Oh, man. I don't know, not one that we put on a record, man, but okay. there's like every now and again you hear stuff like from when you were a kid or something, you're like, 
what was I thinking? <laughs> right. Good night. That was that's embarrassing. Have you ever had to fire or let go of a band member? No, but we did. Jeff, our drummer who'd been with us the entire time, and the Lord just called him into like traveling and really kind of just sharing about like how to how to help people find what God's calling them into. And truthfully, you guys were looking for a way to get rid of him ever since he uh, in front of the <laughs> in front of the cashier. Yeah, it's funny, man, because like on his last day, like we all went to to dinner together. You know, all our families, and we sat, man, and I just made this list of like just these phrases. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it just reminded us of memory after after right. memory of stuff we'd been through, and it was it was hilarious. I'm out of questions. Uh, always great to talk with you. Hey, man, thanks, buddy. Thanks for having me on. Afternoons with Jr. The Q ninety nine seven.